Hi everyone, Juliet from Discovery World here to do some kitchen chemistry. Welcome to today's experiment. We are going to be making rock candy. When you hear the word crystal, you might think of shiny rocks and minerals, but really a crystal is anything with an organized pattern in its atoms and molecules. You probably have crystals in your kitchen right now. Both salt and sugar are crystalline solids. Today we're going to be making rock candy out of giant sugar crystals. Let's get started. The materials you will need today are a skewer, popsicle stick or string, a tall glass jar or cup, a clothespin or other clip, a saucepan, something to stir with, three cups of sugar, and one cup of water. The first step is to take your skewer, popsicle stick, or string and plant some seed crystals. To get seed crystals, you should wet your skewer, roll it in sugar, and leave it to dry. A skewer will need about 30 minutes to dry and a string will need about a day. The seed crystals will make it easier for the sugar in our solution to grab onto the stick and start to form larger crystals. The next step is to create our sugar solution. We're going to be using the stove for this part, so it definitely requires some adult assistance. You can turn your stove on to medium high and pour your one cup of water into the saucepan. We're heating up our water because hot water can dissolve more sugar than cold water can and our goal is to create a super saturated solution. You can add your sugar one cup at a time, stirring until it's totally dissolved before you add the next cup. Continue stirring your solution until it reaches a rolling boil. As soon as it reaches a rolling boil, remove it from heat and allow it to cool until it reaches room temperature. Once the solution is cool, you can transfer it into the jar. Check to make sure your skewer is totally dry and suspend it about an inch above the bottom of the jar with your clothespin. If you're using string, you can tie it to a pencil and lay it across the top of the jar, also making sure it doesn't quite touch the bottom. Throughout your week of waiting, check in on your experiment to see crystals form all over your jar and on your skewer. As the super saturated solution cools and some water evaporates, the water can no longer hold all of the sugar that it held while it was hot. Some of that sugar leaves the solution by crystallizing on the jar and by forming the rock candy on your stick. When your crystals are as big as you want them and it's time to remove your rock candy, you'll likely have to crack the crystallized top layer of the jar. Remove your candy and hang it up to dry in another jar. Once it's dry, you can enjoy your edible experiment. To learn more about the science behind your rock candy and to get some troubleshooting tips, click the link at the end of this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and keep checking back for more fun ways to learn with Discovery World at home.